I'm Laura. Hi, I'm Liz, and we are Two, Two Grateful, Grateful Stitchers. Stitchers. Thanks for joining us for our 10th floss tube video. I want to thank everybody for your comments on rotations from our last video. I have tons of new floss tube channels to watch. <laughs> Looking forward to that. I'm retiring soon, so I'll have more time on my hands. So, <laughs> um, Speaking of floss tube, I watched quite a bit of floss tube. <laughs> um, I, I have some regular rotation um, channels that I watch routinely, like um, Kindred Stitcher and Textilis. They have both gone to Farm Girls Retreat in October and then they made a trip to Wisconsin which we live in Wisconsin so that was really cool to see they went to a, a quilt store and a cross stitch store that I saw maybe they went other places but that was really cool um, I went back and watched some of Jen's stitching niche some of her older videos not too old but where she showed the Lori Holt um, quilt patterns that she had put in binders and was working on because I've decided to take up quilting in my Yay. retirement. <laughs> so, I mean, I've always sewn and I've done little things here and there, but I've never made a whole quilt. So I took a quilt class years ago and I still have the like pieces from it mm -hmm. that I never actually put together. So you're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> so looking forward to that. Um, Annie B's folk art and her daughters did a floss tube recently and she showed some haul from a quilt store near her so then I reached out to that quilt store because they're in Wisconsin too and ordered some things from them. So I'll show you that in our haul. And then I've been watching So and So's, which is Kathy and Nancy. I think we mentioned them yes. last time. And they had a couple more videos since we last recorded. So I watched both of those and boy, those ladies are talented. <laughs> I got lots of ideas from them too. So that was great. Um, I had a few shout outs I wanted to do. So the first one was to Kelly Maluski. Thank you so much. Kelly was a viewer who saw that I was collecting the Victoria Motto sampler, sampler threads. threads. Do you have them all now? I do, I have all of them. Hey! Yeah. So she sent me the last two that I needed. So between her and Michelle, I have all of the floss I need to get started. So I'm super excited about that. And then Kelly also was gracious and sent us an extra pattern that we're gonna do as a giveaway for the end of this video, which was kind of serendipitous because I actually saw that pattern on Instagram um, a different person on Instagram, her name is Lisa Kirk, and she goes by L Snaps or L Snaps. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, Lisa. <laughs> on Instagram, um, I saw the pattern and I said, Oh, I have to make that. <laughs> where, you know, where'd you get it? And she said, Oh, it's called Gratitude by Lizzie Kate. And I was like, Ordering it now. <laughs> and so I ordered it and ordered all the floss. <laughs> and then Kelly ended up sending it to us. So thank, thank you so you much. Thank you very much. She did include the fabric with her, so we'll make sure that goes to the winner too. Yep, and so, the little buttons too. Yeah, the whole the whole kit is here, yeah. and that's thirty count lambs wool. Yeah, which well, is what it's done on. Yeah, yeah. I have this one started at home. I have the G finished. Um, oh, actually, I have the whole word gratitude finished, and oh, then that little pink section. So we'll so both have it <laughs> at some point in time. We'll have we to do show that a them lot. Together. We're we like, do. oh, I bought this new pattern, and one of us will be like, oh, I already have that, or I already <laughs> served that. So. <laughs> we like a lot of the same we thing. We do, yeah. So that's awesome. So speaking of Lisa Kirk, Al Snaps, or however you pronounce your username on Instagram, uh, we were chatting and she asked me if I was from North Carolina. And I'm not from North Carolina, but my whole family is from North Carolina. Both of my parents were born and raised there. All my aunts and uncles, grandparents, cousins all live in Western North Carolina. And she said she had made, uh, this is it. And I might need to put something behind it because it's on linen. Oh, to let um, it see through well enough? Board. Here, yeah. sure. You can do that. Or the other way. Oh, there we go. This is the back, yep. I think you can see it that way. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. That's so oh, cool. Sorry, that was from <laughs> She sent it as little gifts. So, yeah, if you want to hold it up. This is a North Carolina stitch that Lisa did. And she asked if she could gift it to me. And, I, of course, I loved it and said, of course, I would love this. So I went ahead and bought the Wisconsin one and I'll finish the Wisconsin one and then frame them and hang them together, which Wisconsin and North Carolina both have special places in my heart. I was born and raised in Wisconsin, but like I said, my whole family is from North Carolina. So that's beautiful. Very cool. That's a wonderful gift. Isn't that sweet? That is very sweet. Yeah, I thought that was awesome. And then I did forget last video, I had wanted to shout out Michelle Brooks Young. She had shared our floss tube channel on her Instagram, which was super nice. I couldn't find Michelle if you have a floss tube channel. If you do, if you could let me know and I'll make sure I include it in our description box. But we really appreciate the shout out, whether you, you have a channel or not. So thanks. Thank you. So yeah, we can get into our projects. Okay. Um, 
I don't have, have a ton. Yep, I do not have a ton. I called Liz, uh, messaged you about mm -hmm. a week ago, yeah. getting ready for our video, and I said, um, I don't want to disappoint you, but I only have one thing <laughs> to show. Life is never just so busy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Never. Thanksgiving and the holidays yeah. and babies being born yes. and all that kind of stuff. I just haven't had any time. Oh, of course. You have a brand new grandbaby. But I did finish. Oh, my word. One little <laughs> ornament. Here we go. This is Mary and Minty. Yeah. You and were working we, on this last time. Yep. You yep. fully finished it. Yep. I fully finished it. We talked about this on our last video, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. This was a freebie. It. Yeah. It's in Brenda Gervais' um, Facebook group, and it's a freebie in there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yep. It must have been a stitch along at the time. Yes. Back so in you, 2020. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, so, I turned it into a little pillow. It's very small. Gosh, I'm going to say maybe it's two and a half by three. Three and a half. Not any larger than that. I did it on a 25 count. Um, one over one. One over one. Yeah. It's adorable. It's uh, it's like a cloudy. I got I got the fabric off a one two three stitch. Sm can't think of the name of it right now. I was gonna say smoky something, but stormy. Oh, stormy. Oh it's yeah. Storm. Yeah. Oh, perfect. 25 count. Um, and that was hard. I had to use magnifiers to see the stitching because it was tiny. And then um, I just did some seed beads along the side to finish it off because I thought it being so small that having maybe ruching or... Those didn't come like that? You put each of those individually on there? Yeah. Oh, I sold wow. Them. I sold that them. was a lot of work too then. Huh? Um, teeny tiny. I thought it would have been too much. Just I wanted it to be more simple. Yeah, they're teeny tiny. So even they're big, uh, like a little palm trim would be 10 times bigger than these. Oh, yeah. Beads, right. So these yeah. are little seed beads, I think. It's well, beautiful. I have beads at home and I... I think you would call these um, an 8-0. Oh. Um, I have 11 O seed beads because I like to bead. Too. Yeah. Um, so what do these you are mean? jewelry. Oh. <laughs> You're full of surprises. <laughs> I called her up when I went when I decided to start quilting. I called her up and said, "Do you quilt?" And she was like, "Yeah, I got tons of quilts." <laughs> so yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> I've been doing that for years. I just finished a quilt. You're a woman of many talents. For my grandson oh, yeah. that was just born in September. You finished it. Um. Yes, I finished oh. the top, and then I took it over to a um, a woman who does the finishing, the top oh, stitching nice. and everything. Okay. She sandwiches it all together. Sure. And when she's finished, she'll um, I'll pick it up from her, and then I do the binding. Oh, you do it? Okay. I do my own I binding, wondering. and then that'll be finished off. Um, Very cool. So my daughter knows that it's coming. It's his Christmas present, even though it's probably going to be late, because it takes a long time to get that kind of stuff finished. Oh, sure. Well, he'll never know. He's teeny tiny. Yeah. <laughs> One and only. Awesome. That's the only FFO we have. I have one finish. Oh, and it's over here. <laughs> I was hoping this would be fully finished, but like you said, Thanksgiving, we did two Thanksgivings. Life just gets super, super uh, busy. I finished Corgi Love by the Sunflower Diaries. Um, and I was so super close last time, so it wasn't hard to finish. <laughs> I did hurt my neck. Um, I think it's from stitching too much, really, because I did finish this, and then I was working on a couple other whips, and I don't know, I think I was sitting wrong or something, mm -hmm. but boy, once it's jacked up, it's hard to like yeah. get it back to normal, so. You gotta take breaks. I'm gonna have to take a break, yeah, but I bought this. It's called Purple Onion by Lady Dots Creates. That's really pretty. So that's, that's what I'm gonna that. put on the back of this to finish it, so. That goes perfectly, that's and then beautiful. I'll get, I'm pretty sure I have some of her purple, purple um ribbon not ribbon the pom-poms pom -poms. okay yeah. yeah so that's what i was thinking i would do with it but i'll have to look and see if i have that but she yeah. turned out really cute so, yeah, I I that that. <laughs> and then for whips i did not do a good job of opening these all up ahead of time but i could show my is mine a whip oh is it yeah yours while is. you're you doing while you're you grabbing yours yep, okay yep, she's gonna grab great. hers out and then i'll share mine <laughs> that sounds um, great mine is um called this happy morning and maybe some of you have oh, seen yeah. it already sorry i'm going to take out plastic because otherwise it doesn't show on the camera very well that's by plum street samplers oh, um, i love that this and i went out to the country sampler in spring green about a year ago yeah at this time yeah and they had it um oh yeah we went for their christmas, christmas open, open house. house yes and they had um everything was just gorgeous and beautiful and this was finished on the wall, hanging on the wall yeah. above like a fireplace display. Everything type in there was thing. just to die for. And of They're course, so talented. Yeah. The way they decorate, uh, I don't yeah. know who does all their stitching, but it was beautiful. 
And when you see things finished, then you're like, I have to have that. I absolutely have to have that. <laughs> yeah. So, of course, I had to have it. And I bought the kit while I was there. Um, but that's as far as I've gotten. <laughs> it's a start. <laughs> it's a start. That makes it a whip. You um, watch out. <laughs> so, that's a whip. And it's the called for fabric, um, which is hog's bristle. And the called for flosses. Because I did buy it as a kit when I was out there. Sometimes it's just easier to buy the whole darn kit. Because then you've got everything. And you don't have to try to find your flosses at all the different websites yeah. and oh, stores yeah. and whatnot. But and they do a great job of kitting stuff up. They mm -hmm. really do. Mm -hmm. They are so talented there. So that's my one whip. Awesome. Okay, so I'm working on this one. If you want to hold that up for me, I'll get it out. This is also Plum Street Samplers, yes. Liberty Lodge. And you've shown this before, but you're I coming have. quite along. I'm coming along. That house, oh my goodness. This is so much fun to stitch. It's beautiful. I've heard lots of people say that about Plum Street, that it's a lot of fun to stitch. I don't know what it is about her designs, but they're addictive. They're, mm -hmm. It's so much fun to stitch. So That's I had really to force pretty. myself to put this away and start on something else because I did want to do something Christmassy for today's video. Yeah, but that red truck is in there. Sure. Yeah. It's <laughs> a 1776 <laughs> one. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call We're seeing it a lot of red trucks at Christmas, but... So I started on Christmas rule, so this is what it'll look like when it's done. But I'm, I'm going to get it as close to the camera as I can because it's very small on the back of the Lizzie Kate cards. Um, but this is called Christmas rules, and that's the whole thing all finished. This is all I have so far is this little start on the bottom. I went on their website, and they do have the top um, uh, charted out because the, the little booklets like this don't have that in it um, and it tells you which borders to eliminate so that you can do that long skinny um, the way from that first picture and so I started in the bottom mm -hmm. I actually think I thought I was starting on the top and then I if I remember right I had to flip it because I was like oh wait no I'm not supposed to have the border up there oh right <laughs> but I do need it on the bottom so it worked out okay it's the same border so so yeah, and that's as far as I got on that one. We'll see how I do. This is the 20 count Monaco. Monaco, I always mm -hmm. forget. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that I um, coffee tea dyed like a la Priscilla and Chelsea. So oh, sorry, I gotta take a drink. That's okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, they're pretty. <laughs> I can they're stick really, them by really this way. There you go. Keep them together. And then this one. I took the picture off of Instagram because the picture doesn't come with the pattern because it's a free chart from Sherry Colorado Cross Stitcher. And I'll tag her below. Um, That's just so. adorable. I love the little cute? guy. Yeah. He is adorable. He is. And I had, I think, 433. So this brown um, color, which is a big chunk of him. So I started with that because I had to order the other ones. So I didn't have them. So... That's how far I got. And that's also on your monocle. Same, yeah, same 28 count. And I have quite a bit of this still, so whenever I find a small that I think will work on it, mm -hmm. I figure. Um, I'm pretty sure that was a linen. But yeah, it looks like a linen. I figure it'll be Yeah, it'll whatever be works for you. <laughs> so I, I'll work on this maybe more this week. We'll see, and then I'll probably put it away till next fall. It's cute. But yeah, that was fun. I really like that. I can put that over here. Mm -hmm. I think that was all of our whips. Okay. So, and then I'll show you, um, my plans in my haul are all pretty much the same, except I did forget to show you. I only have two of them here, because I don't really do the other two, but um, Lisa Kirk had given me some DMC thread drops too, so I wanted to show those, so thank you. <laughs> and then I did buy a lot of stuff, because That's I okay. decided Bye. I wanted to take up quilting. <laughs> So I was watching Annie B's folk art, and she had these, um, they're called Prairie Quilt Seeds by Lori Holt. And so these are the first three of them. And so these are the ones that I went on to the, I'm going to forget what it's called, Happy, Happy Quilt Store, Happy Quilt Shop, something like that. Um... It might be on that box, maybe. Oh, because I bought cool. that there too. <laughs> we can look so when see. I started, um, when Annie showed these, I went on Lori Holt's channel and looked at the like introduction for these, and she showed. And it would probably be inside on the invoice, sure. maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know if it was on the bottom. 
No, nope, nothing in here. Oh, okay, no, then I don't remember. The store She'll include it in the link down I below. I will, I'll put a link, yeah, because <laughs> it's a store in, I think, Union Grove, Wisconsin, and they do lot, they were wonderful. I had messaged her, and she responded immediately, and I told her I wanted to be in the, um, I don't know what you call it, club for these, because they come out monthly, and I had started late, so I asked to get caught up, so she sent me these three quick, and then while I was looking at the video for these, for the, um, quilt seeds, the prairie quilt seeds. Mm -hmm. Then I saw the um, shoe fly stars quilt pattern that Lori introduced in that same video. And That's that beautiful. looks like this. And so I ordered this. <laughs> so, yes, and it so, came in a beautiful box. Yeah. Just like the cute? quilt. Yep. It's well, very, very nice. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> and you can see that the quilt is on the back as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the colors are just yeah. gorgeous. I really, lots of times I'll prefer muted, more primitive kind of colors, but this caught my eye. I really liked it. It comes all kitted up, so I... You can see a lot of the colors here. It's a little difficult to see in the plastic, but there's quite a bit. Quite a bit. Lots of see lots, it's folded yeah. there. There's two, I think these are called charm packs, right? And they're yeah, yeah. yeah. The big ones, charm. there's big ones cut. They look like they're 12 by 12. Oh, okay. Um... Yes, and then there's some yardage that's actually folded up in there as well. That's so um, cute, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a fun project. Yeah, I'm excited. Very fun. That'll be my probably Well, we're going to be very project. busy in retirement. <laughs> right, because I bought another one. <laughs> so this one I had to buy the pieces to it because the pattern is from Riley Blake and it's free. So it'll look like this when it's done. Um, this is their breast cancer awareness quilt and it's a free pattern on RileyBlake.com. So I ordered everything that it calls for. So it's like a big panel in the middle there with the ribbon. And then I ordered the packs that go with it. So this will be the first one I'm gonna make because that seems like it's pretty straightforward. It's a mm -hmm. panel and then you sew mm -hmm. the sides and then the top. The squares, yep, piece it all together. Yeah, and so she shows a video um, Lori Holt. I'll, I'll link it. Um, she shows a video on how to make a planning wall. Okay. And I can do that in my, the downstairs is finished now. So sure. I can do that. Is that then, where it's like felt? Yeah. And then you stick all your pieces up there? There's felt. Right. And then yeah. you can piece it and move them all around and yep. see how you like the yep. look of it. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to put that on the wall and then I'm going to put like a curtain rod above it with the Clippy Flips. things mm -hmm. that I can hang a quilt on. Sure. So it'll be the quilt will be on display, and then when I want to use the board, I can just move the quilt over there and then use the board. So That's a good idea. I haven't told my husband that yet. But <laughs> <laughs> I did ask him if he minds if there's a quilt hanging on the wall, and I showed him this quilt, and he was like, "That'd be just fine." So, <laughs> not that he cares what I put on the wall. But <laughs> no. He's a good guy. He's a very good guy, yeah. So, um, let's see what else. And speaking of good guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, we anyway, watched our last Floss Tube where we talked about we're talking that about we were going to take up framing. And then he had a miter saw, and he's like, you don't want my ready old miter saw. You want this for us. <laughs> That's another one. So, so we, we won't use his. We'll use this one. We're going to learn how to frame. <laughs> it was so cute. He said, you can use your Cricut and put two Grateful, sti two grateful Stitchers on it. On there we this. go. <laughs> he's thinking. He's thinking. Yeah, so. Very funny. sweet. Thank yeah. you, Ryan. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I can show you the rest of my haul. Yeah. <laughs> So I joined, um, this is called Scattered Seed Samplings on Etsy. And I had seen this, this pattern and I wanted that bird so bad. <laughs> and I saw that it was a kit and it's a little pricey and I was like, oh, I don't know. You got a thing for birds. I do. <laughs> and then I saw the next one came out and it was this bird. And I was like, I know I need both of those birds. <laughs> and they were on 36 count linen. And I really struggled with linen. So I messaged her and she was so nice. And she said, oh, I can swap out 18 count for you. So she did. So yeah. I joined the club and I got the first three. So yeah, and, and you even get the little charms too. They're pinkies. Yeah. That one has a um, strawberry charm on the back of it. Oh, yeah. And the fabric and the floss and the needle. So everything is everything. included. Yeah. And the Backing fabric everything. is in there. Yeah. And then and the then next this one. one is called Gathering Together. Yeah. And this one, 
a bird. That's a little bird. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's a little bird. And again, the backing fabric and the floss and the 18 count is tucked inside. Yep. And then this last one is a, <laughs> yeah, a little bird charm again. It looks like two of them. Little pear tree, this one's called, yeah. Yeah, because I can put them on the mantle, you know, my, my plant. I do like birds, obviously. <laughs> Cross the so you can have all three of them. Yeah, yeah that's what I was thinking. Anything. I can put them up on my mantle. Uh, my TV's pretty They're close gorgeous. to my mantle, but I think I could put like a dough bowl or something there. So there's one more coming, I guess, because it was a quarterly club. Okay. So, so that's cool. They're beautiful. And then I was watching. Oh, I did need to write this down and I did forget. I will put it in the description box below. Um, when we were getting ready today, I was thinking, there's something I'm missing. This is what it was. So let me take a drink quick and I'll tell you. Anticipation, right? <laughs> I was watching, oh, I'm so sorry. I can't remember her name. She was on Instagram and she was talking about how she got an idea from somebody else. And what they did was they went back um, for Prairie Schooler Santa. Okay. And there's so many of them. They started yes. in 1984. So she went back and picked the year she got married and the year each of her children were born. Oh, cool. And I was like, that is so cool. I have a great big, huge family, so I tried that. <laughs> and how many do you need to buy, or did you buy? Um, I bought them. <laughs> <laughs> so I started out, um, okay, I so. love the deer. 2016. That would be perfect for my husband. 2019. I'll stand up to you if you want to hold them Yeah. 2020, and then, you know, they're not all like that anymore because a lot of them aren't in print anymore, so they brought them back in book form. So this is book 211, but it has 97, 98, and 2013. It's funny how things go away and then all of a sudden they come back and they're yeah. super popular. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's trying to collect them now. I'm going to try to either do them on 20 count Ada or I'm going to try I'm going to try something simple over one and see how I handle mm -hmm. it and if it's too hard then I'll just do the 20 count. 22. You could do Oh, I could do 22 count Ada. That's a hard hanger, but it's I think oh. 22 count is hardinger, but it's similar to Ada. Okay. Um, I don't think I've ever seen that. It's not as small as a 25 count Lugana, so I think, you know, if you wanted to go a little smaller so they're not gigantic. Yeah. Um, I mean, because they're, not, they're the only, they're work. what, about like this? Mm -hmm. But I would like them like smaller. This. Yeah. 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 And then this is book 209. It's 85, 2002, and 2014. And then this one's 207, it's 95, 2003, and 2004. Wow. And so only one of our children's spouses was born before 84. <laughs> just, just by okay. But um, Make one up. <laughs> I'm actually just going to give them each the same one. There you go. You know, or do the same one for both of them. So that, did I say that already? Book 206, and it's 99, 99 2000, and 2015. 15, yeah. And then this one's 205, and there's three years in there. Um, 86. 88 and 92. And 203, and this one's 84, 89, and 91. How fun. Right? So then, I have two more things. How fun. I'll put those back over there. Yep, there you go. Uh, okay, I always have all these ideas, and I do a lot of shopping, and I need to stitch more. <laughs> well, you won't have to very shortly. You only have a month left. Right? I know, I'm so excited. Um, so for rotation, I had asked about that and got a lot of comments that was super interesting. And I think, um, so I did mess up my neck and I, I'm pretty sure I did that from stitching for three hours on one day. And that's extreme for me. I never stitch that often if I, or that much. Um, so normally the most I stitch in one day is an hour. And I think doing that, I think okay. I have to avoid doing that. So when I'm planning my rotation and kind of, you know, I'll just know that I can't stitch for more than 20 or 30 minutes at a time. Mm -hmm. And if I do that a couple times a day, so I don't know how much of a rotation I'm gonna do this, this coming year, but I really, really like the idea of doing a Sunday piece. I thought that was such a cool thing and I would just, I just really like that idea. So that one really spoke to me. So I picked mine out <laughs> and so I bought everything for it. So what I picked was Awake My Soul by La Di Da and I bought uh, 18 count Ada That's beautiful. to do it on. And then I bought the floss. Let yeah, I should probably take out. the floss out. Can I, I think just, you can um, see this okay. That's beautiful. It just, I just thought it was so pretty. The colors, I think, are what did it for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's just so pretty, so. 
Bandings all around that. There you go. So yeah, this will be my Sunday piece. I'm gonna start it in January, the first Sunday in January. Are you gonna work on this every Sunday? That's the plan. There you go. Yeah. That's a good idea. I mean, even if it's only a half hour, I figure I'm doing something. Mm -hmm. and It won't take know. long. Just be consistent and keep going. That's the thing, consistency. So every year I pick a word for the year, you know? Mm -hmm. And my word for 2022 was habit, and I picked it because of consistency. Because, you know, we all just get wiser as we get older. And the one thing I wish I had learned 30 years ago was the power of consistency. Because I'm, if I do my exercises every day and my core mm -hmm. feels strong, I feel healthy, I feel better. It it's less easy for me to hurt myself, you mm -hmm. know. Um, and with everything, whether it's, you know, reading or stitching or cleaning studying, your house, cleaning, anything, yep. anything. Yeah. Consistency is key. So I, you know, I've, I've been reading a lot about rhythms where people, they don't want to be too rigid, you know, where they feel like it has to be, everything has to be dictated in a rigid way. And they just more have like, this is our morning rhythm or this is okay, our, a flow. you know, like kind of a flow like that. So I've just been thinking about that and praying about it and, and trying to figure out what retirement's going to look like and super excited about it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm excited for you. I'm excited. So um, I finished the Corgi Love one and I, I'm, I don't know what they call it, but I love the Queen and England and all that stuff. I follow it all and just watch it all and just I'm fascinated by it. So my daughter who crochets is going to crochet me the queen. So that's for my birthday. So I should get that in May. So I wanted to, that's a lot of work. She, I mean, she does these and she, she's done Elle Woods and every year for her company, she does a doll that they auction off and oh, you know, they cool. go really, very nice, a lot of money. Um, and so they're just little people <laughs> and they're crocheted and they're adorable. And that right after the queen had passed that pattern for the queen in her blue suit with her blue pillbox hat was all over the internet. And I said to my daughter, she's like, you're like the 12th person who's had this day. I'm like, I know, what can I have for my birthday? <laughs> she said, yes. But I said, I don't want you to not have, that's a lot of work. So what can I do for you? What, like I cross stitch and she doesn't cross stitch. So I said, can you pick something out that you really want? And I'll make it for you. And so this is what she picked. This, um, my printer was running out of ink, so I apologize. But it says, if you're happy and you know it, it's the meds. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, and I said, do you want, you know, what kind of fabric do you want? And oh she said, oh, I like it on the white. So I bought some white Ada. And then just yesterday, she must have been tooling around on Etsy. And she sent me, uh, it almost looked like cotton candy in the background. And okay. she was like, can you do it on this? And, oh, yeah, of course I can. So I'll oh, order some cool. of that. So. And these were the colors for it. I had, I think I'm missing a couple yet, but it's oh, how just, funny! Yeah. That's by the Sassy Fox. <laughs> yeah. That's cute. Yeah, that's not a great picture. So yeah, I'll have to to show you when I get it started. It's really just flowers and words. I figured this should go pretty right. quick. I hope to have it done for her. Her birthday's not till September, but that's her sense of humor. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is absolutely. She's hilarious. And then the last thing I bought was this book of days for 2023. And I don't know why I bought it because I stink at recording and tracking anything and everything. And I always think I'm going to be a different person every year and I'm not. <laughs> but you're trying. You're being surprised. consistent. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I didn't do that. Oh, that's cute though. I'm going to try. Linda, Linda remember? I, um, maybe I didn't share that with you. Linda's oh. got one of these books. And oh, your friend she showed it to me. Yeah. Does she put like stickers? Yes. In? So, so does Annie B's. Yeah. yeah. We went shopping. I don't even know. Where'd she, she get the stickers? Oh, uh, we were at Hobby Lobby. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you just kind of go over to their paper crafting area, then that's what she did. Okay. And she got different um, stickers for, um, some of them are themed like what she's working on. Other okay. are, Other stickers are themed for their, maybe the holiday at the time. So she's just but like decorating the book itself? She And she writes notes in on what she worked on on each of the days. Okay. I, I've seen people write like, this is the inside of it. I don't know if you can see that, but this is the front cover and... This is the back cover, and this is by, um, I know it says who, do, who does this, Needlework Press. Yeah, okay. Um, some people write down the number of minutes they stitch that day, and mm -hmm. some people write down the number of stitches, which that mm -hmm. I don't think I can and handle doing. People... That seems a little extreme. How do you count the stitches as you're going? I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Out. And that, then that becomes a chore. It, to don't me, you just I want to stitch? Would, but and... Somebody must find it. Um, rewarding or sure, everybody's different. Or something, yep. but to me, I would think it was a chore too. Like I can put down the minutes, you know. Hopefully, I can stick with that at least. We'll we'll, we'll try. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. So that's all my haul. Every time my husband watches this video, he's like, "I had no idea you bought all this stuff." <laughs> <laughs> what? 
that's where my money's going. <laughs> my money. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. Okay. Well, we did do a giveaway. Yep. Let me find that. So it was this cross-stitch book and this stack of farm animals pattern. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the winner for this is Linda Skinner. Uh, we had asked you to use the word rotation, so thank you. Linda, if you could reach out to us by email, our email is twogratefulstitchers at gmail.com, and it'll be in the description box mm -hmm. below. If you want to send us your address, we'll get this out in the mail to you. So we do have another giveaway for this. Um, yep. We had talked about it earlier, but yep. a couple words about giveaways. You have to be 18. It's not affiliated with YouTube. We can only, stitch, we can only ship in the United States. Um, don't use the word giveaway. So we're thinking for this pattern, which thank you so much to Kelly for sending us this pattern to give away. Um, we're thinking if you could use the word grateful, that'll be the word that I stitched. So if you want to say I'm grateful for, or, you know. Which is a perfect time because we just finished celebrating the Thanksgiving season. Yes, yeah. And it is a time for um, gratefulness and gratitude. Absolutely. And thankfulness. And um, we're thankful that you guys watch us every month. Absolutely, um, yeah. So speaking of watching us, we have decided to take the month of December off. So November will be our last video for 2022. And so we'll come back strong in January yes. um, with our first video of 2023. And we're looking forward to showing you our progress at that point, talking about our plans going forward from there. Um, but I think that's it, right? I think that's everything. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs>